Alhambra. It's said al Qat al Hamra in Arabic and it translates as the Red Fortress. It is located in the ancient city of Granada in southern Spain. This UNESCO World Heritage Site was built on a plateau overlooking the ancient city of Granada. Point being, it looks over Granada, and it has taken centuries to build. But there's something really special, a hidden gem inside the walls and in its interiors. Something very different to almost any other culture. Today I will be explaining about it and showing different pictures and videos about it. How COVID-19 has killed its revenue and scared off its international tourists. And how it was a complete city inside and how there will never be anything more amazing than it. It started during the reconquest of Spain and Portugal. This was when the Muslims and the Christians were fighting for Spain, or what was the Iberian Peninsula. The reconquest started in the 8th century, ended in the year 1492. In the south, the Muslims had a vast territory known as Al-Andalus. As they tried to expand their territory, the Christians of the north stopped them, forcing them to move back. Lower-ranked Muslim sultan named Muhammad ben Nasar had to find shelter during the Muslim and Christian battle. As the Christians forced them south, he found the city of Granada. He first wanted to move to the Daralora Palace, though upon seeing it didn't provide necessary amenities, he chose not to. Instead, he found the small fortress of the Alhambra and laid the foundation to build it into what it is today. The palace contains many different parts, such as the Carlos V's building, the gardens, or the Alcazaba, which is the fortress area. Here's some footage I took of Carlos V's building. It is a square, two-story building, but on the inside, it has a circular patio lined with columns.
At the vela, a vane sits atop a large well, whilst four different flags fly beside. Just behind the Alcasaba is the Barrio Castrense. In ruins, this neighborhood is where the military personnel who protected the Alcasaba lived. There are three turrets facing the north side of the Sabica Hill. Just in front of the turrets is the Torre de las Armas, which means the Tower of Weapons. There are many different towers at the Alhambra, but the main three are in the Alcazaba. The Alhambra doesn't only have the Alcazaba or the Palace of Charles V. It has many other amazing places, such as the Patio de los Leones. I did go here, but unfortunately, the camera crashed. So I still have some footage that I would really like to share with you. Here it goes. Enjoy. This palace used to get 8,000 visits a day in the summer. Now it barely gets any. The Alhambra has two different entrances. Here's me going into one of them. Look at the detail that goes into making these amazing doors. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again later. Bye.